So here you see a group of little white or cream schnauzers. These are toy schnauzers. And this one I would consider to be a cream. And she has a brown nose and green eyes. This is Nestle. This is Penny. And Penny is a party. She is white and cream. And she has a black nose and dark brown eyes. So you can compare here. This is a, a party colored white and cream with black nose and dark brown eyes. Compare that to Nestle who is a chocolate, a white chocolate with green eyes. And now let's compare that to Liberty and Liberty. Liberty has a brown nose and blue eyes and she is whiter, whiter, so than Nestle. So Nestle is a creamy, now when you look at the red intensity index, this little girl, this little schnauzer, shows up as intermediate red. Intermediate red. This one shows up as dilute red. So dilute red on the red intensity index. And this one shows up as intermediate red on the red intensity index. So again, looking at white and cream schnauzers here and the difference in their coloring. All of these schnauzers in DNA would be recessive red, little ee. -E. But this is gonna be a black, so a BB, a capital BB, and this is gonna be a little BB, recessive, because it's got our liver nose. Now I wanna compare this to another color that is also recessive red. And so these two are recessive red. And I think of him as a beige color. And she's also a beigey, champagne-y. And sometimes I would refer to her as a red. But people who are into deep into the reds would say that is not a red. That is a beige, or some have even called her cream. So just showing you that there are lots of different words that Schnauzer breeders use to describe the colors. And when we're using the genetic DNA information, all of these that I've shown you in this video are recessive red, little ee -E colors. This one has a black nose and that one has a black nose. So that's gonna be a capital BB. And uh, well, in this case, uh, they both have a capital BB, so they can't pass along the chocolate or liver colors. So here's Penny next to them. So you can see the white and then the champagne beige and then a little bit darker, clearly not red red, but yet on the red intensity index. Hopefully this is helping as we are all distinguishing these uh, colors in our toy and miniature schnauzers.